Hi. Let's talk a little more about valve to brass instruments and how they work. As you can see, this is not a trumpet, and it's also not a euphonium, or a French horn, or a cornet, or a flugelhorn, but it is, in fact, a tuba. Although all of these instruments work on the same principles. In previous videos, we have talked about the principles on which valves and brass instruments work. In this video, we will do the same, but by taking an example from valve to brass instruments to explain a principle with much broader applications. It's a principle of learning we might call thinking and knowing. Let's start with an example. Let's say we want to learn to play a portion of the chromatic scale very fast and that at the present we have no idea how we would do that and we don't even know what a chromatic scale is. Well, the first thing we should do is not to start blindly memorizing something we read in a book or see in a video, but to understand what it is that we want to do. I mean, we want to play a chromatic scale, so we should know what a chromatic scale is. Otherwise, we won't even have any way of checking whether we're doing it correctly. Right? So a chromatic scale is the scale that incorporates all the keys on a piano. And it might be helpful as a memory aid to know that chromatic comes from chroma, which is Greek for color. As all of the colors, or at least all of the keys of the piano, are in this scale. Okay, now we have a basic understanding of the task at hand. Let's see how that works on the instrument. So if we start with an open fingering and descend a half step, then we have to depress the baby, right? And another half step would be the dad, and then the dad and the baby, and then the baby and the grandfather, and then the dad and the grandfather, and then the dad, the baby, and the grandfather. Right? So now we know how that will work on our instrument. So now we've definitely understood the task at hand, so let's try it fast. Open, baby, dad, dad, baby, baby, grandfather, dad, grandfather, dad, baby, grandfather. Even faster. Open, baby, dad, dad, baby, baby, grandfather, dead grandfather, dead baby grandfather. Okay, you might have noticed this is not working. As long as I'm having to compute every single half step, I'm not going to be able to play this fast. Thinking and understanding has brought us this far and we're almost there but it can't take us the rest of the way. For that, we'll need knowing. What we need to do is to put this information in a form that can be immediately digested so that it is at our fingertips for any song, symphony, or Sunday afternoon. Take a look at this picture. Imagine that these fingerings are a house. You see a roof, an upstairs area, and a downstairs area. And you'll notice that upstairs and downstairs are exactly the same with the exception of the presence of the grandfather. These gray circles indicate that that 
valve is depressed, just that that's the only difference between the upstairs and the downstairs. So you'll see we have here stairs going down to this floor and stairs going down to this floor. So let's try that out. We have the roof and then the stairs and then the stairs with the grandfather. So if I do that slowly one time for you, roof and then baby dad both and then baby dad both with the grandfather depressed. So that looks then like this. Roof, baby dad both, baby dad both. Right? And then you can do it fast. Right? So let's try it out. Now watch this. Now how did I do that? Well I didn't do it by thinking. And I certainly wasn't thinking about the long or the lower, or you get what you give, or sing it, buzz it, play it, or any other principle. In fact I wasn't really thinking about anything at all. The only picture in my mind was of a house. Nothing clever or insightful. Just something easy to remember. Now watch this. Now how did I do that? By not thinking of anything at all. So now you know a little more about valve and brass instruments and how they work. And two important steps of learning. Thinking and knowing.